Hey folks, uh, this is a quick, uh, fast lesson to get you guys ready for your upcoming quiz, which in my class is tomorrow, if you're listening to this. Today is Wednesday, and so tomorrow will be Thursday, so I'm sure it'll change by next year and the following years anyway. So, adding and subtracting polynomials. This should be an easy, feel-good quiz, you guys, hopefully. Hopefully it's a lot easier than the last couple we've had anyway. So, here we go. So, um, and I have a little pointer there because you can't see my mouse for whatever reason. So I have to grab this little pointer and move it around to point to stuff. Okay, so that's just there for that. All right, so state whether each of is a monomial. Okay, so a monomial, you guys, is uh, it can be a number. Okay, so this is just a number right here, you guys. Even though it's negative, even though it's a fraction, it could be a number. So that's a monomial. Okay, it could be um, uh, it could be a variable. Um, or the product of numbers and variables, okay? So the variable has to have a positive integer exponent, like right there, that's a five right there. One half is not an integer. So this one's not a monomial, okay? And this is the x in the denominator, so if you put it up top with the 25, it would be one o or be 25x to the negative one. It has to be um, a positive integer. Actually, it could be zero, too, because uh, anything to the zero is one, and that would just give us a number right here. So this one's going to be, yes, that's a monomial. Yes, that's a monomial. No, because it's a one-half, and no, because you can't have x's in the denominator, because that would be a negative exponent right there, okay? So... Yes, uh, yes. Uh, let's see. No, no. Okay. Hi, Mildred. I'm I'm putting up your review lesson online right now, so you're gonna hear me. You're gonna hear me talking about that. <laughs> All right. So this one can be a monomial because that's a number. That's a variable with a positive exponent. So this one's a monomial. This one's not a monomial. This one's called a binomial right there. Okay. All right. And then um. A, I don't know if we're going to have this on the quiz, so this would be the leading coefficient right here. The leading coefficient of this binomial is 7 right here, as long as it's written in standard form. So standard form is the biggest power, and it goes down and down and down. Anyways, um, what else would they ask you? Well, what's the degree? The degree of this polynomial is the biggest one that you see, so it would be a 3 on this one, and the degree of this one would be 5 right there, okay? So I don't know if they're going to ask you that. Anyways. So yes and no for monomials, okay? All right, so add and then simplify and then put in standard form. That just means in decreasing order, so or descending order, so your biggest power. So when there's nothing in front of the parentheses, you can just drop the parentheses and then just combine the like terms. I underlined them right there, so uh, as long as I can combine like terms correctly, that's your answer right there, okay? Now, and same on this one. Just drop the parentheses because nothing's in front of them. And then combining like terms, you'll see over here I added those fractions. I don't know why kids freak out with fractions. You just got to get a common denominator right there. So I'm adding this uh, 2 thirds y to the fourth and this 1 half y to the fourth right there. And I did that over here. I multiplied 2 thirds times 1, which is 2 over 2. That way I get 6. And then this 1 third times 1, which is 3 over 3. That way I get 6. And then we can add the numerators. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7, 6. Okay. Anyways, there we go right there. All right. And then for subtraction, you guys, we have to distribute the negative through. So there I did with that guy right there. So I just went through the second ones and, and changed the signs and then combined like term. Okay. And in standard form, you put it in descending order. So you write the biggest power of x's and the next biggest power and so on. And same with that one. Put the negative through and combining like terms. All right. There is one easy easy word problem on your quiz. I know that. And that's your assignment if you're in my class. Take care.